guys! So today I'm here to talk to you about the movie Cinderella. Now this has hit Amazon Prime this morning and uh, if you read my review at mamasgeeky.com you probably already know my opinion but it's basically but why though? Like what was the point of this movie? Did we even need it? No. We just got a live action six years ago with the Disney version which is far superior to this one. So let's dive into it. Let's get my review for Cinderella. If this is your first time here, I'd love it if you take one second and hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's talk about this thing. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. So I want to start off by saying the very few positive things I have about this. I like the idea of integrating uh, more popular songs, different songs, newer songs into this musical version of Cinderella. Absolutely like the idea of it. Uh, the execution of it, well, maybe one of them works, maybe two of them works, but it, overall you're just like, what is, what is, why is this happening? What's, what's going on here? Why are they butchering this really popular, really good song? It's, it's not good overall, you guys. Now, like I said, there's a couple of songs that kind of work in here, but overall it's a mess. The, the best part, the hands down best part about this version of Cinderella is Adina Menzel. She's incredible. She's amazing. She's a powerhouse. She captures every scene that she is in. I mean, this lady has talent as we know. She comes from a musical theater background as well, but I mean, she has the voice, she has the acting, and she is a perfect casting. Uh, Billy Porter is also a lot of fun, a little over the top to the point where it doesn't work, but I'm also not sure if that's just Camilla's, Cabela's like acting in those scenes that's messing it up. I, I think Billy overall is very, very good. It's like I said, a little over the top, which is him and that's fine. And, and it's not like it doesn't work um, completely. It's just those scenes with him feel a little out of place. Then again, he's not in them alone. He's in them with Oh, Camilla, Camilla, Camilla. Poor, poor, poor Camilla. My biggest problem with this is she just feels so out of place in this entire movie. I don't know if it's just too much for her. I don't know if she was having an off month while they were filming. Like, I don't know, but she just feels like a deer in headlights half the time. Like, she doesn't know what she's doing. She's just trying really, really hard. Like, too hard. And it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. She's just not a great choice for this role. Now she's an extremely talented um, singer, I feel, uh, but they auto-tune her like crazy. I think Adina Menzel is the only person they don't auto-tune and everyone else is so auto-tuned that it's obvious and distracting. Uh, it takes away from the, from the movie and you're thinking, are they just like, obviously this is just completely auto-tuned voice and that kind of messes with stuff as well. Uh, there are some great dance numbers, some fun dance numbers, although uh, some of them very small scale, some very large scale. Uh, most of them are a little ridiculous. There's some fun ones, uh, some that, the, the main one, the one that really works um, is at the ball. Uh, I really enjoy, there's kind of like this battle back and forth. Well, well, the singing is a bit off and it's a little weird and it feels out of place. It's fun and entertaining and one of the most entertaining scenes in the movie for me. Um, but overall, they, they also tried to add, and this is what I didn't love about this movie, is they add what I thought was an incredible, powerful message, right? These women are being talked down to, like not just Ella, Cinder Ella, uh, not just her, right? The of uh, the queen and the daughter, right? There's so many people that are just the the princess daughter is what I mean. Uh, just being like talked down to and, and oppressed, right? So, so then it's kind of like female empowerment and you can, you know, do your own thing and, and live your life how you want to live your life. And that's kind of the overall lesson here, but it feels way too pandering and like it's too much. It's too in your face. It's too, it's pushed too hard or it could have been a lot more subtle, but some of the lines, some of the dialogue, some of the writing, some of the scenes just push it too much that it's like, okay, you're, you're totally pandering now. Like, let's not, this is, this is going to create the opposite effect of what you want because it's just getting annoying. Um, in my opinion, again, reviews are opinions, guys. This is how I felt about this movie. Unfortunately, it just really fell flat and I felt like, what is the point? Everyone is auto-tuned. What you've added to the story 
is is very pandering and in your face. There's something else, um, and I don't want to give a major spoiler, so I just will say that there's a journey for a certain character who is in the background the majority of the time, and then when you get to this, the the pinnacle, the top of their of their journey, and you're just like, that doesn't make sense. Like, oh, okay, sure, but like you never hinted at this at all through. The movie, which was a little weird, uh, the story itself is quite predictable. Just even from seeing the trailer, you know what's going to happen. And it's too long. You guys, it's like two hours long. You could have taken a half hour out of this and it would have been more tolerable. Like, I don't understand why they needed to make it this long. It was just a, so ridiculous. And some of the jokes, you guys, they're trying to be risky, risque, right? Like James Corden, I don't know what he was thinking but i mean he's a mouse obviously that becomes a human obviously and at one point he's talking about peeing out of his front tail and it's just eye-rollingly cringy like so many of these jokes are so cringy that you're just like really like you're trying so hard to like cross that to like teeter on that line right and and not cross it but like still kind of be for kids but not and throw in some adult humor and it just doesn't work because it's just ridiculous and it sounds ridiculous i don't know i really wanted to like this if you saw my trailer reaction i was very intrigued by the trailer i was very excited and i felt like it's just poor writing um the auto tune is ridiculous it's too obvious and it takes away from the entire experience um, poor Camilla feels like she's a fish out of water here. I don't know what was going on, but she just doesn't seem to really capture the spirit of Cinderella. And she just doesn't seem to know what she's doing. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Like she's very, it's like a, oh, like a deer in headlights is a perfect way to describe her in this movie. It's far too long. The jokes are way too ridiculous. Some stuff is way too over the top. And it feels like, you know, we just got a new Cinderella six years ago. Was it really necessary to have this movie? No. So Cinderella. But why though? I give this movie a one out of five because there is some decent songs in here. Adina Menzel is fantastic and phenomenal and just captures um, every scene she's in and is just a, a presence on the screen, uh, a joy to watch. But other than that, I mean, James Corden is awful. Um, everyone else is kind of forgettable. I mean, Pierce Brosnan. I mean, you've got this list of people like Pierce Brosnan and, and Minnie Driver and Idina Menzel and Camilla Cabela. And you think, like, this is going to be a smash hit. This is going to be so good. And it's just not, you guys. Unfortunately, this movie is a don't bother to watch it unless you feel like torturing yourself for two hours. I mean, there's some pretty dance numbers like at the ball that are fun and some of the songs work and Adina Menzel is fantastic. That's what I got for you guys. I'm giving Cinderella a one out of five. You guys, if you've already seen this movie, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you enjoyed this content and you want more movie reviews, trailer reactions, celebrity interviews. Thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. You can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there. M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-O-I. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.